Welcome back, dear viewers, and we are delighted to welcome our guest with us, Nira Dha, and we're really happy to have you here. Thank you for having me here. So, of course, um, Nira, starting, we'd like to introduce you more to the audience, talking about you, especially about your studies and background. Well, I'm publicly known as Medusa. I have a bachelor degree in occupation and medicine and therapy. Um, currently, I'm a master's student in anatomy department in Kuwait University of Medicine. Yes. So maybe you'd like to tell us about the studies that you choose. Was it something you've always dreamed of? Or was it, let's say, more of the uh, family, um, let's say, um, wishes that you actually proceed in such career? I've always been fascinated by how our brain works. So uh, I really like psychology. That's the main reason why I actually entered med school. Yes. <laughs> and after that, I feel more in love with how our brain functions and how our body actually works. Mm -hmm. So being as a med student meant that you had to be really busy, exactly. especially dealing with everything <laughs> exactly. that was associated with the studies itself, trying to know more about the, um, uh, let's say, the specialization that is produced in such college. Maybe you'd like to share about that experience. It was really a busy time back then, but I really loved it because once you start loving something, time passes by without mm -hmm. noticing it. So Indeed. that's my secret. <laughs> Indeed. And when it comes into a studying, did you study it here in Kuwait or you went abroad for it? I've studied here in Kuwait all yeah. the years. Yes. And how was the experience so far? Fantastic. Yes. <laughs> you. you know what? Because uh, sometimes people do tend to want to study these kind of, let's say, studies abroad, trying to have that experience of uh, staying abroad, having uh, different kind of friends from different kind of countries. But when it comes into your case, being here in Kuwait meant that you were associated with the family, uh, being there with your ups and downs, especially during college times. Exactly. So um, it is, let's say, alhamdulillah, something really uh, great and very important to actually cherish, yes. especially through the years itself now moving on towards uh, your career right now being let's say a coach how did you find yourself uh, reaching towards that it all started when I was practicing in psychiatry I've noticed when I give an activity or an occupation to my patients that their way of living and their mood have changed dramatically mm -hmm. so that made me realize that okay giving an occupation or an activity have a more effect than our mind or our mood and when I started studying sports medicine more I actually fell in love more also with my profession and coaching mm -hmm. and now since I have a level one level two certificate in coaching I've realized that coaching is not only giving an exercise or telling the trainees to perform something it's more of coaching them motivating motivating them mentoring them throughout the session itself so that made me uh, uh, incorporate all my studies and education within the session itself and that made me actually realize that coaching is actually part of my profession also and not an external something. Yes, especially when it comes into your profession, it is kind of actually, let's say, uh, um, um, more, let's say, a completing uh, to the True. career itself. True. Um, working in that field uh, could be even um, mix up the uh, consumption that uh, coaching in that matter, being a psychiatrist in a matter, is actually something the same. So, since you are here, maybe you'd like to tell the audience, are they the same or they, let's say, they completed other and somehow coaching is more of a holistic approach because when uh, when you deal with a coach actually coaches deal with you emotionally psychologically mentally and physically so it's a more of a holistic approach they don't look at your mood for example or how your brain works they look at how your day went how is how are you today are you mm -hmm. uh, willing to do the exercise today or not so coaching mm -hmm. is actually a, a more holistic way than uh -huh. a profession itself Yes. Now, of course, when uh, you worked uh, or let's say start working as a coach here, when you started to have clients and you started to have schedules and trying to, let's say, uh, maintain the things that they actually want to reach through their career. How do you deal with that? First, when I first meet a client, I ask about their goals. Once they tell me their goals, I write it down. And then when I write them down, I break them down into pieces. And each week, I work in one piece mm -hmm. until I reach the goal fully. Mm -hmm. So it works piece by piece. And yes. most importantly, is dealing with the client to know more about the goals. Exactly. Because we've seen so many clients uh, who attend to, uh, let's say, um, a coach center. And then uh, they realize that they actually don't know what do they want. Exactly. So this is where also another challenge will appear to you how do you actually deal with such clients ask them about what they love 
as mm -hmm. simple as that once you know what they love they get motivated easily mm -hmm. so that's my first question what do you love what do you want to do mm -hmm. what do you want to achieve in life yes and when it comes into these sessions is there is a specific time uh, considering let's say the matter of uh, this session itself or uh, it depends through clients and another now for now I'm doing group coaching so group coaching is uh, usually one hour so they have to make an appointment before they come to the session uh, this is really important because in order for me to divide my attention 100% to each client, I have to have a specific number of clients within the session itself. Yes. Yeah. So that's really interesting because um, uh, to me, I see that coaching through individual would make it more easier uh, than uh, coaching through group. Uh, how do you evaluate that? Like, is it uh, something, let's say, more advanced when you are working in a group, especially for the environment of the clients? Uh, getting socialized, getting to know each other is much better than being alone. Well, I wouldn't say it's much easier. For me, group sessions are better because you you, you have this environment of, uh, or the atmosphere of a family. Mm -hmm. It's more of a family than a group. So when I have a group session, it's more um, fun for me yes. than an individual session. That's why I like group sessions yes. more. And, and as for the clients, like uh, some of them, because we know that each one of them has their own, let's say, personality. Some yes. of them would say, let's say, more of a shy uh, person. Some of them are really eager to know everyone. And then you have the antisocial ones. <laughs> exactly. So how do you deal with them? Like, do you have these kind of, let's say, we don't want to say problems, but let's say um, technical, let's say, things could actually happen during the sessions. Um, that's why we're called coaches. We're not called uh, functional trainers mm -hmm. because as, as a coach, I have to understand the person's personality, uh, uh, how they feel within the, the session itself, and I have to give them 100% attention. Yes. yes, so I can actually work with them based on these perspectives. That's really interesting to hear about it. Also, when it comes into uh, being a coach and dealing with it uh, in your own, let's say, uh, way, uh, is there is a certain way that is known for Nira uh, in using special uh, methods, uh, ideas, encouraging, of course, your clients? Yes. Uh, the main thing that I use, especially in all my sessions, is I make the atmosphere of a family atmosphere. So we all love each other in each session. That's why all the, the students that enter my sessions come back all the time because I don't treat them as a client. I treat them as a sister, a mother, or someone who is a part of my family. Yes. So this is my approach with the end. And that's really important because this is what we actually need in this, let's say, speedy uh, life that are, exactly. we're always connected to each other through family members, yes. though um, everyone has their own family. But sometimes we need to, let's say, find our ways out of the family uh, members themselves in order to gain, let's say, more of a social uh, awareness, so, uh, social relationships to grow that uh, uh, need of being socialized in this community. Especially that in our community, let's say more of, uh, um, no, we don't want to say it's like close community, but to gain friendship is kind of hard if you're not working uh, more in a specific conservative. Yes, yes, indeed, I totally agree with you. Yes. So um, when it comes to the clients, have you ever, let's say, been associated with uh, certain kind of clients that you actually, let's say, remember and you want to, let's say, uh, give advice for the audience in order for them for the future uh, not to think that they're left out or um, they cannot, let's say, visit uh, a coaching center and providing them with all the needs that they want okay um, I have to admit something most of my clients when they first entered my session all of them hated me until <laughs> the end of the class <laughs> until the end of the class they all fell in love with me yes. because at the beginning when I treated them I treated them all equally I didn't distinguish between one and, an and another and at the end when I started knowing them better I realized that each one of them needed to be treated different, differently. That's mm -hmm. why at the end of the session, they loved me. So to answer your question, I want them to realize that don't judge from the first sight. You have yes. to give your coach another chance. Mm -hmm. So once you give your coach another chance or give them one trial, you would understand why you would love your coach yes, after that. Indeed, and we fell in love with you, to be honest, Thank you. being here. <laughs> Thank indeed, you. Providing us with all of these, let's say, uh, important uh, things, and especially sharing uh, your journey in uh, this life, especially with your career uh, to the audience, of course. Now, of course, when it comes into the clients, uh, we hear that there are sessions. So um, considering these kind of sessions, do they depend on each client or there's a specific, let's say, package that they have to go through when they are signing for coaching? 
There are packages that they have to sign. This is number one. But when they get into the session, I first ask them about their goal. So it's both of them. Mm -hmm. It depends on the packages and the client itself. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes we've seen that some clients uh, get really excited at the beginning and then um, they start to feel like this is more of a repeated, let's say, sessions or uh, they feel that they cannot achieve a specific, uh, let's say, way in their journey. Mm -hmm. uh, do you have, let's say, did some of them, let's say, come up with these kind of problems or it's more of a smooth uh, session that it goes on? Yes, uh, mostly with clients that come into my session, the first thing that they say, I've been into a gym for a year and I've never went to it because there are, there are no coaches there to mentor them, to motivate them. Once you have the right coach, we'll never miss a class. Yes. This is number one. Yes. Number two, it depends on the atmosphere of the gym also. If you're going there to train alone, of course you're going to get unmotivated. But when you have a group of girls around you that motivate you too, you will never uh, skip it. Yes, yes, indeed. Yeah. Now when it comes into, um, let's say, coaching, what do you actually do in that perspective when it comes into exercise, workout, and so on? Is there a specific, let's say, uh, uh, line that you are interested in? Uh, in our gym, we actually do everything, but from my own perspective, I actually like the workouts that we call them hurricane workouts. Yes. It's actually a workout where everyone is motivating each other. We have partners workout, and everyone have to wait for their partner to finish it until they start. So it's yes. more of a cooperation work. Well, so that's this is my really favorite. interesting and <laughs> yes. really nice. I'm more of a competitive, so if I had a partner, I'm going to, let's say, try to finish everything you with can her very best. <laughs> <laughs> you well, can be my partner. <laughs> thank you very much, Virginia. I really had uh, so much fun with you and knowing more about coaching in another perspective uh, is really interesting and wish you all the best and success. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you very much. And that was, uh, that was our interview segment with our guests. Hopefully you enjoyed watching us.